Don't you guys wish that Mattel released a non-lenticular version of Wilmer Flats? Well, I certainly do, and Mattel actually planned on releasing one in the Final Lap collection, but the last two cases of the Final Lap collection were cancelled, and unfortunately, the Wilmer Flats non-lenticular version was a part of one of those cases, along with several other cars that were cancelled as well, such as Dan Sklarkenberg or Percy Handbrakes. So the only release we received of Wilmer Flats was in the lenticular line in 2010. So in my opinion, at least we actually got a version of the character, whereas with Dan Skarkenberg or Percy Handbrakes, we did not. So welcome to today's suggestion video. Wilmer Flats was suggested to me by Roan Cox. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And if any of you are interested in suggesting something yourself, the information on how to do so is in the description below, along with information on how to request something for your birthday. One quick thing I just wanted to mention here is that you can keep on suggesting stuff even though like one of your suggestion videos hasn't come out yet. The only rule I have on restricting your suggestions are sometimes if the cars don't relate to each other and if there's like 30 cars you want me to review in one video and if you haven't thanked me or given me gratitude or appreciation on your previous suggestion. That's all I really have to say, just kind of want to clarify the rules for newer viewers. So now let's get into a review here of Wilmer Flats. Now I really do like this character and like I said I really wish they made a non-lenticular version because I think it'd look 100% better. Because we're looking at right now you can kind of see four eyes and that's just an ugly look in my opinion. Now if you kind of have it like that you can see the two eyes off to the right there and if you have it like this you can see the two eyes on the left. Now I really do like this expression and I believe this is the expression that the non-lenticular version would have. Now her decals, or I should say souvenir, is actually pretty cool. She's got this lightning bolt above her eyes here, and this flag, which is pretty unique. I don't believe any other uh, race fan has that flag in that color. So it says Lightning McQueen on there with the bolt, and it's kind of like a yellowish beige color, which is kind of odd. I don't really know why it'd be that color. But I believe the only other car that was released with the bolt above the eyes is Timothy Two-Stroke. Now, obviously, he has it in a lot larger scale, but essentially, it is the same souvenir. Now, I do know for a fact that Wilmer appeared in the first car's movie in the Motor Speedway of the South race, but from memory, I believe that she made her one appearance when some cars were crashing and she kind of had a disturbed or startled look on her face and I do believe that she appeared next to the yellow pickup truck that was supposed to be released but like many cars never got released. On the back here we can see the license plate which reads 0TU48 so pretty nice there's also some text above it but it's too small to read. Now Wilmer Flats is not a unique model unfortunately but it's not really a big deal because it does look like she'd be accurate to this model in the movie. So here we have Andrea who is the same model as Wilmer. She was released in 2009 as a single and last year. So they are the same model unfortunately both of them do have the mouth plate there as you can see there's that little crack in between the main body and the mouth. Now it doesn't look terrible on Wilmer because the colors don't differ that much and it doesn't really look too bad on Andrea either but on some cars it looks horrible. So we also have here Maddie which is the same as Wilmer and Andrea and I believe these are the only three that are the same in this kind of chain of models here. It's a really small car. Here I'll compare it to a Carbon Racer Lightning McQueen here and you could just see how it's a pretty small car. It's about a little bit more than half the length of McQueen there, as you can see. So yeah, it's a pretty small car. I don't know really what type of car it will be based off to. It may be some sort of import, I feel, from Japan. Not like Booster Wingo or anything like that, but I mean like a Honda or a Toyota car or something like that. So that is basically all for Wilmer Flats here. I really do wish this one got a non-lenticular version. I feel out of all the cars that were released, lenticularized but did not get a non-lenticular release this is the one that i most want 
as a non-lenticular version. So, thank you guys for watching and thank you Roan Cox for the suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be. And I'll see you guys on Saturday for Q&A number 8. I'm really excited to do it and I hope you are excited to watch it. So I'll see you guys then. Bye now.